high. For sure, you have seen or worked with backlight scheme before. I agree, this light technique looks pretty cool. To make this video useful to you, I will share 5 helpful tips on how to work with backlight to make it look cinematic and realistic. As an example, I will show you some lighting schemes from my last project. Begin the light scheme installation with backlight first. I love this light technique. As by placing the light behind the character, we get a nice outline on him. Backlight is often the most powerful light source on set and has the highest exposure. And I advise you to start any lighting setup with powerful light. In this case, we are talking about the backlight. If you start putting the weakest light source first, for example, practical light, any front light, reflexes, etc., and then powerful backlight, in this case, the exposure of the light setup can change dramatically. A strong light flow can be obscure weak source and break your camera exposure setup. In order not to remake the light scheme, I recommend starting the setup with a powerful backlight and work with exposure on this stage, and then complementing the scene with additional light sources, which can be less powerful. This is not a rule, just a friendly advice. By the way, when I'm talking about the powerful light sources, I don't mean some burning out bright light. No, we're talking about powerful light source relative to other sources. For example, you have three LED sources, one of them for 30 watts, for second for 100 watts, the third for 300 watts. The most powerful light here is at 300 watts, and it is better to use it for backlight. The power of the light source will depend on the exposure of your image. In some situation, in the night for example, a 30 watt can be considered a quite powerful light source, if the other two have a power below 30. For example, 10 and 15. By the way, the natural sunlight can be used as a key and backlight. By reflecting it from the 12 feet grip frame with silly material, we got a huge backlight flow. It's very difficult and expensive to repeat the same light flow with a powerful light sources like every 20 kW for example. This sunlight flow is similar to 200 kW of light or even more. If the weather gives you the opportunity to work with the sun, then you can usually repeat the same light setup. It's not necessary to use a light grip construction, you can use a simple 1x1 feet size mirror or any bounce board with silver coating for reflection. The larger reflection source is the bigger area you can eliminate. This video is sponsored by my online course. If you want to learn more about the professional lighting working and set design to create a beautiful and cinematic videos, follow the link on the description. Contrast ratio of backlight. Then you make the backlight. Don't forget about the ratio of dark and light areas in the frame. You will have a risk to get very high contrast image. It's possible to smooth out such highlight contrast with additional light sources of less power. It can be a front light, fill, flex or side light, etc. The backlight will look different depending on the lens that you use. One of the indicators of the quality of lens is how to it convey the backlight. One lens can show you the backlight with a little glowing and dim look effect. This is most often seen on vintage optics or using soft filters. Other lenses can be sensitive to the backlight and show specific fluid effects. What I want to say, if you are working with a powerful backlight, the image from different lenses can be completely different. Just remember this, then you choose a lens. I must often pay attention to how flu looks on the one or another optics. I think the backlight as a source of powerful light should be motivated. It looks strange that the backlight has a fictional source, which we don't see in the scene, or which comes from nowhere. This is a powerful light. It should be have some kind of confirmation. When the viewer has seen a powerful backlight, the most likely he will think where such a light flow comes from. Ideally, the source of backlight is best to show in the frame. For example, here we see the source of backlight is a window. This is a perfect situation to motivate light. 
Also, the source can be anything but the windows. The main idea is that you show the source in the frame – fire, sun, cloud, practical, etc. Don't overdo it with the backlight. This scheme is cool and cinematic. I know that this is a seductive feeling to use it all the time. But don't do that. The video doesn't have to consist of the same light scheme. It will look very unprofessional. Imagine that you are preparing a dish with several ingredients. Backlight is one of the components that should be added moderately, without fanaticism. A very approximate composition of the backlight in my work is about 20% of the video. Someone has this personage less, some are more. Just don't overdo it. So, there are 5 tips for working with backlight. That's all. Thank you for watching. See you.